In this quick video, I will show you a simple example in Excel that will help you understand the difference between a balance sheet that is expressed in book values and a balance sheet that is expressed in market values. More importantly, you will learn why the balance sheet must always balance, regardless of whether it's expressed in book values or market values. So let's suppose that you buy a house for $500,000. Now, the house is basically an asset. Think of it as a long-term asset. So the left-hand side of the balance sheet shows the book value of all your assets. It could be fixed assets or current assets. In this case, this house is a long-term fixed asset. Now, the right-hand side of the balance sheet shows your debt and equity. Specifically, it shows you where the funding for the house came from or where the funding for the assets came from. So the left-hand side is showing the uses of cash and the right-hand side is showing the sources of cash. Now let's suppose that you got $300,000 worth of debt and maybe $200,000 worth of equity. So this is fairly standard. Whenever you go out there to buy a house, you typically take on some debt and put in some equity. As you can see, the balance sheet is balancing. This is the standard way in which we think about a balance sheet. The balance sheet is simply doing some record keeping for you saying, hey, if you bought a house for $500,000, this is the asset that you bought, and this is where the funding came from. This is the record. Now, let's suppose that the day you buy the house, the very next day, news comes out that Disneyland is going to be opening a theme park about two miles away from your house. What would happen? In all likelihood, the value of your house and all the houses in your neighborhood is going to go up. Let's suppose that in the market now people are willing to pay a million dollars, a million dollars for your house. This is the market value of your house. This is what it's worth in the market. What about the right hand side of the balance sheet? Well, you still owe $300,000 to the bank. So that is the worth of the debt. The question is, is the equity worth $200,000 right now? No. In fact, the worth of your equity now is the difference. In other words, this is now worth $700,000, which is why the balance sheet is now going to balance. Put differently, when you bought the house for $500,000 and put in $200,000 of your own money, when the house becomes worth $1 million, this is a great investment for you. Why? Because you only put in $200,000, you borrowed $300,000. Now you have an asset that is worth $1 million. If you went out there to sell this house, you'll get a million. You pay down the debt of $300,000 and pocket in the $700,000, which is your equity. That's the worth of your equity. And so as you can see, the balance sheet is still balancing in market value terms. But please understand, this is something that we don't see on the books. On the books, your house is still worth $500,000. So please keep this in mind. Every time you're looking at a balance sheet, you are looking at historical information. You're looking at the historical value or the book value of assets, liabilities, and equity. Market value of assets, market value of debt, market value of equity is something that you do not see in a typical balance sheet that is reported by companies. In fact, that is why financial analysts have the job that they do. One of their jobs is to figure out what is the worth of all the assets that a firm owns and hence what is the worth of the equity and whether the stock market is reflecting that value of equity. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section. Happy learning.